Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Olya and I am a flute player. Today's video is going to be about finding performance opportunities. So let's get into it. Number one thing to remember about performance opportunities is networking. The music world is a very, very social place. Now, if you're a current music student, it's probably not a problem for you. But what do you do if you're not a music school student and you do not know very many people that perform? I suggest you go to your private teacher. Private teachers are usually performers themselves and they are very well aware of what's going on in your local arts community. Your private teacher can help you find the perfect performance opportunity for you. Now that was general principle number one. Let's talk about principle number two and that's creativity. Go and check out your local newspaper for ads that groups sometimes place when they look for players. You can also use your social media, you can join local Facebook groups, or you can create your own Facebook page. You can also organize a house concert for your friends. Cook a wonderful dinner, invite some friends, and play your favorite pieces for them. These are general principles when it comes to looking for performance opportunities. But what are some of the specific ensembles that take players like you? I found 10 of them that I'm going to list here. If you know of any other opportunities, please list them in the comments below. Number one that's really great for beginners is the New Horizons Band. Quite a few cities have these bands that are organized for retired people. However, they do take those players who are not of retirement age. I suggest you check into your local New Horizons Band and see if they will take you. Number two, local colleges often have groups that will take community players if they are lacking students that can play certain instruments. Number three, are you a church member? If you are, you might want to consider joining your church's worship team. Some worship teams do have audition requirements, and if your worship team is one of those, you might want to check out what the requirements are. Number four is closely related to number three. Find some friends in your church that play musical instruments and form a group. It is a lot easier to find performance opportunities for a group than it is for a single player. Number five, historical monuments. I am sure historical monuments are not the first thing that pops into your mind when you think about performance opportunities. However, a lot of them do have programs for musicians to participate in. We have two local historical monuments where my flute group has performed at and had a wonderful experience. Number six, International Make Music Day. This day takes place twice a year during summer and winter solstice, and every musician is encouraged to participate. Number seven, do you have a local symphony orchestra? If you do, it's worth going on their webpage and checking out what their audition requirements are and if there are any open spots for your instrument. Number eight. Number eight is related closely to number seven. If you do have a local symphony, you should go and check out their website to see if they have a list of musicians for hire. Our local symphony does provide that service for free to local musicians where we can go and list our contact information so that people searching for music can contact us easily. Number nine. Wedding shows. Wedding shows are a wonderful opportunity to advertise your skill to people that are usually looking for special occasion music. Quite often it means that you would have to purchase a booth to participate. And finally, number 10, wineries and restaurants. Those are places that quite often have live music for their guests. That will be all for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, consider hitting like and subscribe. And until the next time, keep playing. Bye.